Good evening and thanks for joining us on this special media chat with uh, distinguished Senator Suleiman Othman Mungui, uh, Senator representing uh, Kaduna North, that is Zone 1, uh, as it is fondly called. Uh, today on this uh, special interview session, we are looking at uh, a very important uh, issue, a political issue, if you like, that has been generating reactions and counter-reactions, especially in Kaduna. We're looking at the Senate rejection of the $350 million uh, loan request of Kaduna State Government. Uh, just recently, uh, some of you that have been following uh, developments uh, at the Senate, you've seen how uh, the three senators from Kaduna unanimously uh, opposed to that loan uh, facility that is being requested by Kaduna State Government. This is uh, what led to the resolution by the entire Senate, you know, to reject this request. Uh, this is coming at the time there are also political uh, issues, if you like, uh, uh, crisis emanating from the leadership of the APC. Uh, the APC itself, you know, there has been a lot of, uh, um, you know, there, there, so there seems to be some kind of uh, misunderstanding between the senators, especially the two senators from Zone 1 and the one at the central with the state government. And uh, many are looking at this resolution as one that has some political, uh, you know, inclinations, if you like. Uh, we'll be looking at this uh, topic very closely this evening with our guest who is already uh, seated in the studio. And I'm joined by my colleagues, uh, uh, Shuai Wikimi from the DITB Alheri Radio. And I'm Govali, uh, happen to be uh, with the Invicta FM here in Kaduna. Thank you for joining us, colleagues. Thank you, Shabu. <laughs> yes, uh, just like I mentioned, uh, we're looking at this issue uh, with distinguished Senator Suleiman Usman Hunkwe. Uh, let's start uh, in earnest. Uh, Senator, we've seen, or rather the people of Kaduna have seen how unanimous you were in terms of, you, in terms of your decision now uh, to turn down the request of Kaduna State Government uh, to have this $350 million loan from the World Bank. What motivated, or what uh, uh, precisely led to this resolution? Well, thank you very much. Uh, you need to know that uh, the procedure for assessing the viability of any demand or request is an objective procedure. And uh, one thing I would wish to correct quickly before going into those comments is that uh, the decision was not that uh, the three senators unanimously, the Senate is composed of 109 elected mm. representatives that each on his own honor is in that chamber mm. and objectively to stand to criticize, if need be, among other things, and make a decision to his conscience. The decision to reject that loan was a decision of the Senate. That it happens, three of us see it the way the Senate sees it, I think is worth giving us a part on the back, meaning we did not arrive to say because Nasr is my brother, he is the governor today, so I should tally along the line that my brother wants. No, it was a decision based on our conscience, based on objective analysis of the needs, the necessity, and the capacity for the borrower to offset the amount in question. Therefore, I think the President of the Senate then gave the decision followed some key reasons why it was rejected. One of them, from 1960 till today, 2018, 
the loan portfolio of Kaduna State Government stood at $231 million. Give and take what has been borrowed, what has been paid over time, but it stood at 231 And it is the second highest within the 36 states of the Federation. At that 231, it stood the second highest within Nigeria. And then <clears throat> there is now a request for $350 million in one go. Two credits put together, merged to the tune of $350 million. When you put them together, that amounted to almost $700 million. That debt profile is excruciating for a state similar in status, similar in capacity, similar in capacity to earn and pay. It is excruciating because one of the gauges is to determine whether or not the borrower has the capacity to borrow and offset what he has to pay or what the state has to pay and yet do the minimum primary obligations that is necessary for that state. All these barometers and measurements were returned negative against the indices of reasons of borrowing $350 million. The Senate is not in the position to say, okay, it is too much. Now, let us give you $100 million. No. The credit numbers of the two loans from the World Bank put together is $350 million to finance one and the same thing for the drawdown for five years. Another reason is that apart from the state lack the capacity to repay without sending the state into serious problem. Who is going to lead the borrowing? Of course the state government under a governor. Even if he is re-elected, he will only serve for another four years. And then another government will come and be faced with that consequences, with that problem, with that lack of capacity and ability to do two things together. One, the basic obligations of state, and then servicing the same law. Okay, in your own this, parameters. There are so many reasons, mm. but these are on the front line. Yeah. Yeah. Looking at your submission now, <clears throat> By all estimation, you found, you know, the basics faulty. Uh, you know, there is no foundation for this loan to be to be given. But coincidentally, the federal government, which is the the, the platform where which the states are using now to access this loan, and. The, your, your, your colleagues at the, the, the House of Representatives have went through this document, this request, and found it uh, uh, sufficient enough, uh, you know, to accommodate. Why is it difficult for the Senate to also toe the same line? You have answered your question because the two situations you have put have different obligations. The federal government. It's not obliged to assess. That is why the Constitution bestow it on the National Assembly to do. You cannot be a borrower, be the spender, and then be the one to assess whether what has been done is worth what has been borrowed. 
It's, it's a division of labor. So the federal government is not responsible for that. That is part of the reason why the National Assembly decides with those parameters. Mark you, don't forget, part of the indices of gauge comes from the executive demo. The demo. How much does Kaduna State owe? How much does Lagos State owe? How much does Oyo owe? All these are facts that are available at the DMO. Part of what I have told you now is the report coming from the DMO. The DMO is just a section or a unit under the Federal Ministry of Finance. Yes, Hence, part of what we use to gauge it is definitely from the executive. But distinguished, borrowing on its own is not a problem. What you use the money that you borrow is the issue. Developed countries, even like United States, borrow money. Now the governor said he has satisfied the World Bank condition for borrowing the money. Why did the Senate turn it down? Well, that is an additional reason among litany of reasons. When you come back to the money borrowed, how is it going to be utilized? The drawdown is broken down into five years. Within five years, Kaduna state government is rushing, rushing, running, to borrow and spend 170 million of the 350 million dollars in the first year. Why? What is the rush about? Government is a continuous process. Why the rush? Maybe for development, of course. Development, no. There is no way you can apply three out of 350 million. Mm. You are rushing. Your scope of drawdown is to be done in five years. Why the rush to spend $170 million in one year? People, people might that is one reason. No, he asked a question. Yeah. I think I need to wrap okay, up okay, with that. Okay, this ahead. is one of the reasons. Yeah. Second, we have been told, you heard your colleague here asserted here now that Kaduna State Government over the media has brainwashed the general public that this loan is going to be repaid in 50 years. I simply tell you, it is a lie. It is not true. The loan repayment schedule is in 25 years. Why lie to the general public? Why lie to the state assembly? Why lie to the national assembly? That is another reason. Three the application of the funds. I have shown them here the schedule of drawdown in five years rise in 11 different catchments. This 11 different catchments total the $350 million in five years. Yet, we have been told that schools are to be renovated, schools are to be built, roads are to be built, some of the roads are to be rehabilitated. I have not seen in any of the 11 schedules of drawdown the narration of that drawdown indicating that money will be applied, so-so amount will be applied for road construction. So why another lie again? Why? <laughs> These are some of the reasons. Okay. What I'm telling you, like I have told them earlier, this is the loan agreement. It's here. It's an official document. This is the financing agreement of that loan between Kaduna State Government and the borrowers. So, why lie? These are facts that have enumerated 
I'm not lying. Why is Kaduna State government lying to the public? Why are they lying to the State Assembly? Why are they presenting application of funds as if $350 million will be spent on infrastructure while actually the entire spending is in three parastatas. Three main parastatas. And all of them are appendages to the office of the governor. Okay. This is one of them. Kajis is one of them. Okay. The revenue board under the governor's office is another. And then we were told here where we read in this office of the special advisor is another. So, where we... are the projects? Uh, excuse me, Dissimu. Where does, how does Kajis build roads? Where does internal revenue service of the state build schools? Where? Certainly, definitely, somebody somewhere is fooling the public. Yeah, distinguished, if I may be correct, uh, 500 million was said to have been budgeted for the building of the city quarters at the Millennium City. So it's part of uh, provision for infrastructure development. Mr. Ango, here, here is the division one after the other. This is item one. This is item one. Here, this is item one. Mm. And it says, if I may read, I read at the other program, but this is what it says. Simplified business process reduction in the time required to start a business deal with construction permit and register properties. That is under cages. Okay. How much will be spent? 7.6 billion naira. Okay. Uh, total of, it is here, total of 25.540 spatial drawing rights. Spatial drawing rights is not dollar. There is 1.4218 dollar in every one special drawing rights. So when you convert it, it comes up to, as I told you, 7.6 billion naira for ease of doing business under cages to register a property. How much was spent okay. in providing ages as a digital registry in Abuja. How much did Nasarawa state government build operating now a land registry, digital land registry? It was on papers. How much was spent? Ours here as it is cages today has been upgraded already. Okay. Cages is upgraded. So why are we spending 7.6 billion naira to do that? Yeah. If we go one after the other, like I told you, this is the drawdown of areas they are applying that money. Okay. Okay. We so we what they have told the general public is simply a quoted lie. It is not true. So, At um, least that is not what has been provided in the financing agreement. Excuse me, distinguished senator. So who is lying to who? Yeah, excuse me, distinguished senator. I think people of Kunaf City mm. uh, might have been surprised that okay, you are the people who are in the Senate. The two of you from Kunaf City, you are in the Senate, and you are the few, you perhaps you know better than 
maybe even the governor of Kaduna State, the, the requirement that need to be made before such a loan is granted. And people will, right, see, if they assume, they will be right to assume that, okay, there should have been a consultation between you who are representing Kaduna State and the government of Kaduna State so that you'll be able to guide Kaduna State in writing the request so that it can assess this loan. Was there any consultation? Was there but any even borrow? if there was, if there was, in the first instance, we would have advised three hundred and fifty million dollars is too much for what Kaduna State will carry. But I was not contacted. That's one. Two. No. Even if they agree to borrow less, still honor is on us to guide and make sure the application of those funds will be as indicated. Three. Like my colleague has asked the question, if you talk of roads, how many will be built in Kaduna Central? How many will be built in the zone I belong? Don't I deserve to ask? If you are going to build several roads and you end up building five in a concentrated area, my zone has two and another zone has none. Is that fair? Issue. These are questions so that people one, one need to a, ask <coughs> government. Yeah, yeah, one of your government mm. is duty bound mm. with or without asking those questions to say and tell the people the truth. The little they told people mm. were all lies. Uh, one of and your, I have one, proven one of that. Your, one of your responsibilities as lawmakers is to oversight. Uh, perhaps you're not the chairman of the Senate Committee on Foreign and Local Debt, but it is a responsibility of the Senate to engage, to interface with the government officials, you know, with a view to how the position. Why are you now talking about some of the lapses the in the media? The responsibility of, of the them? National Assembly does not include to aid the borrowing agency in documentation. It does not include that. You just said one of the responsibilities of the National Assembly yeah. is an oversight. The oversight is not extended to projects that are done in the states. The state assembly is duty bound to do that. So you should ask why did the state assembly allow this to happen? But did you, did you make any effort to reach out to, the, to your constituents? To Listen to me, uh, Malam Gimi. Yeah. There is nothing wrong in making effort to reach out. Yeah. But honors belong to the state government to reach out to us. Yeah, distinguished based that on is, That is the way it should yeah, be. Uh, like I said, mm. if you go advising anyone who did not solicit for your advice, the likely thing is that your unsolicited advice may cost you. It could be said you have a reason, you have a cause, you have an interest. What do you say? It is my state, but in my own opinion, part of what took time is that some of these issues were raised. Okay. It was raised yeah, during the discussion. It was raised. But for them, they feel the amount they require, the amount they want to borrow, the amount they are bringing to their coffers for application is what they want. And they feel the advice of the National Assembly may not be necessary. They are in a better position to tell you that. Yeah, this is addendum to his own question. Based on your explanation, and considering the fact that this loan request was to be approved by the National Assembly, uh, it seems there wasn't consultation between the state government and members of the National Assembly from Kaduna State before the request was sent. That's sent why, where? Before it was sent to the Senate for approval. No, 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 no. The Kaduna State government does not send to the National Assembly. Individually. The, the, the request is received from office of Mr. President. Yeah, that's what, I, I, that's what I, so, meant, I meant to say. But usually, there is, there is always a gap between law, what the law provides, and sense. What you have said would have mitigated against 
some of the pitfalls. Yeah, uh, I've seen, I've seen, uh, I've went through. You know, In fact, I may tell you, <clears throat> you are all living witnesses. There is no amount of blackmail. <clears throat> The Kaduna State Government has not done to blackmail us into submitting to approve. Yes, I've gone through. Or not to them, what, simple. What, yes. What, there is no amount of blackmail anyone can make me mm -hmm. mortgage my own time, my own self, my own children, and my grandchildren. And that is what this loan is all about. I've gone through one of the social media uh, platforms of the governor where he accused you and your colleagues of allowing your political prostration, as he put it, now to go against the interests of the people of Kaduna State. Who is How, frustrated? Wh what is your initial reaction? <laughs> what, what is frustration? Who is frustrated? I think you only quoted the governor. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, no. I want to understand <laughs> the <laughs> meaning of frustration because he read it, I didn't read it. <laughs> and since he's telling me now, <laughs> we would see who is frustrated under these guys who is frustrated i didn't originate the claim i didn't originate the request i didn't process the request how am i frustrated i only raised like a referee will do a yellow card and at the end a red card because you wouldn't allow chaos to resume Okay, sir. Uh, in addition, to prevail, uh, in addition, lady, within a situation like that. In addition, lady, credence to this assertion, um, owing to the crisis between the, uh, okay, like Senator Shewusani, for example, and the governor. Senator Shewusani was said to have threatened the governor. Does. Walbani, Walbaka, Walhanani, Walkememi. What does that mean? And the uh, meaning that giving is reciprocal. Giving is give me, I give you. I don't know about that. So, well, I'm not. So, so, I'm so, not so, some people are. You should are ask Shehu. I don't want to speak for anyone. The rejection of the loan owing to this word or this threat made by Shehu Sani. My people are happy. Okay. My people are happy there are some people that this loan is rejected. There are some I represent a people. They elected me. But, but I am their representative. Yes. Okay? But, yes. So I tell you what I have done is in tune, is in line with the will and feelings of the majority of the people who send me to the Senate. But was there any meeting between you? I mean, yes, there were a lot of meetings. There's so much consultation. I have had more than ample opportunity to interface with different kinds of people from my constituency. On this law, we received a lot of letters from our constituencies. We received a lot of delegations from our constituencies. But that put aside, like I told you, it is not about Hungui. It is not about Senator Shehu. It is not about Senator La. It is about the conscience of the Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Who has a responsibility, a constitutional responsibility to gauge, to measure, to protect the general public from falling into what is likely to be like we said. This is another colonization after Excuse me. the colonial rule. Uh, okay, the when, you, when you make the general public to swallow a pill they cannot contain, that to me is unacceptable. Okay, I don't know how you can explain away the feeling or the impression that people have that this rift between, well, is seen as one of the manifestations of the rift mm -hmm. between the three senators, who are actually precisely two senators from Kaduna State and the state governor. Um, the, the people, some people see it as a one of the manifestations of the rift anyway. And they are expressing concern that this rift, if it goes on, will cost the state a lot in terms of development, in terms of... No, 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 I don't think so. I don't think so. Don't go there. After all, the governor is a very powerful person. Very powerful. The office of the governor, very, very powerful. Mm -hmm. Somebody who goes to carry bulldozer to demolish people's houses. Very, very powerful. Mm -hmm. Indeed. 
So a senator is just a representative of the people. Now, lastly, if there is there is no way anybody will suffer because the governor is fighting him, we will suffer. We are suffering, and the people of Kaduna State are suffering. That is just the issue. Mm, lastly, but there is nothing out of the ordinary because mm. we do what is required mm. of us to do under the given law of the land. Well, even though I understand time is not on side. But lastly, you've uh, beyond just the stalemate and the grandstanding, uh, there is no, uh, we cannot un underestimate the fact that there is need for development in Kaduna State. Re rejecting the loan is one thing, and then providing alternative is another. What would you suggest as an alternative? for the state government to cut be able to your court according to your size and in addition sir. that is one you ask a question cut your court according to your size okay. secondly secondly go back thank you some of the policies of government mm -hmm. are completely off key and anti people thank you very much uh, distinguished senator we have to uh, put uh, a stop to it here because time is not on our side uh, if, in case you're just joining us we've been talking with uh, senator suleiman usman hunkui uh, regarding the 350 million dollar loan request that was rejected by the senate and i've been uh, alongside my colleagues uh, shoebu gimi from the ditv radio and ango bali of the invicta fm uh, on behalf of them and uh, the crew that I uh, mean the entourage of uh, Senator Isa Abdullahi Shika, Dr. Abraman Usman, Yahya Ibrahim Shinku, Dawda Ilya Abba, Abakar Umar Yeriman Bomo, Ahmed Babako. Uh, on behalf of all of them and the technical crew here in the studio, my name is Shafiu Suleiman. Do join us again uh, when we come your way with another interesting guest. Until then, thank you for staying with us.